my guide has again taken me astray because it looks like if you make it into Paradise Plaza after noon, then Kent has already killed the person that he has as a hostage that you never even like load into the game. And he does this cutscene where he ties you up uh, and takes all your stuff. If you get there before noon, you get to defuse the situation and you still have all your items. So I'm kind of a little bit confused now because I don't see a way to make both of these work because... With a woman in despair, that's telling us about something happening in Paradise Plaza. So I guess my only option is to go into Paradise Plaza before noon. I guess anytime after 11:30, and fight Kent as quickly as I can so that I can get out of there in time to get the two transmissions that are supposed to come through at noon. We'll give this a shot. I'm really hoping this works out, because I think I only have like one or two survivors worth of leeway. So I really need this all to go according to plan here. I need to get up top, talk to Kent as quickly as possible. I'm going to really just go nuts on him with this chainsaw. Where's he at? Is he not going to appear until noon? That's gonna make this even tougher. I'm only gonna have about two minutes to fight him and get out of the area. I might even have to leave the survivor that he has alone for a little bit, just so I can get out of here quick enough to get the transmissions. That's gonna be tough. In preparation for that, I'm gonna pick up some healing items so that as soon as I get back in here, I can start feeding this guy orange juice. Okay, yeah, I think I can still do this here. There are several points in this 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 kind of playthrough where you have very very yeah. tight timetable that you have to stick to in order for it to work. This is where you need to be in order for Kent to appear. So just make sure where the arrow tells us to go. Yeah, it's right here. So we're in the right place. This is actually going to coincide with the game ending, uh, the main plot line up once again. We're going to, need to see that that message. That's always fun. Yeah, another minute or so. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. I think you only have about a half hour to maybe an hour's leeway on transmissions coming through. And at noon, I'm still going to get the one about Kindle, which is kind of a longish one. So I'd like to go ahead and take that, but I need to really fight Kindle quickly. So I guess what's going to happen is at noon, the game is going to end, and I'm going to get the transmission from Kindle, and I'm going to get a cutscene with Kent. I'm going to try and run away from Kent while I'm talk talking to Otis about Kindle. Then I'm going to kill Kent as quickly as possible and then get out of the area so I can get the other transmission that's telling me about the girl in the CD shop. Then I'll zip back in here as fast as I can and rescue the survivor Kent has with him, who will be in distress for sure. But I have orange juice and a queen, so I should be okay. And then I'll take care of the CD shop girl and be back on track. Ah, Frankie! Good timing! I was, uh, just about to shoot my... Peace de resistance. <laughs> I'm going to capture on film the exact moment that a human being crosses into zombiehood. What are you doing? My shot! You ruined my perfect shot! Is there a cutscene at the after fighting Kent? Because if there isn't, I should go ahead and kill him before I take a transmission. Okay, so we're going to see, yeah, uh, noon came and went. The cases are all now expired. It's Truce has vanished into darkness. Return to game. Okay, that was pretty quick. I think I'll still be able to get the transmissions. Do it, Frank. Take my picture. It'll look great on your mantle. Frank's <laughs> just like, what the hell, man? Seriously, what in the world? Alright, now I got two transmissions coming through. 
hopefully. Call me back, Otis. Hang on. If he's not gonna call me, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy up. Are you all right? There he goes. Okay, help him out. Thanks. What? No, yeah, Tad, you interrupted my call! Son of a bitch! I might not get another chance. Crap! Okay, he did call back. Good. I hope this is the Kindle transmission. Yeah, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now he's trying to roll everyone up, blah 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 Okay, I need to get out of here, Otis, come on. Okay, hopefully... Now when I go back into Wonderland, I'm hoping Tad doesn't just disappear, because he never technically joined my party. Come on, Otis. You gotta call me about the CD shop girl. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna get ready to go back in here as quickly as possible. Now, this is a carefully managed situation. Now, I, d I didn't see anybody, anything bad happen to Tad. He didn't say that he was zombified or anything like that. So hopefully I can go right back up here and he'll just be standing there like, Hmm, where'd that guy go? Oh, I hear him getting mauled. Here, Tad. Squish. out of here. Alright, Tad. You're gonna drink this orange juice. Whoops. Yeah, good job. Get your vitamin C. Now follow me. We're gonna go and get Simone out of the CD shop. Alright, well, heck, that it worked. I managed to do it. It's peaches and cream from here. I think that was the last hard part, really, for us. The rest of the game should go on easy mode. Wow, I'm... Really glad I was that I had enough time to make all that happen just now. That was probably the most time critical event that we've had so far. In terms of a lot of things needing to happen really quickly. That was probably the closest we've come to ending up in an impossible situation where I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that, and it just doesn't work out. Alright. Here, Tad, wait up here. Let's go ahead and get Simone! Hey, girl. You okay? I'm here to help. And she just doesn't believe it. There's a helicopter coming to save us. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, in the first run through when we did this, there was a zombie who kept reaching his hand through the glass. I'm gonna wait and see if that happens again. It's forbidden. So what? That doesn't mean you have to turn into one of them. And she's like, you're retarded. That's how zombies work, Frank. And then Frank tries to convince her that just because she's going to turn into a zombie doesn't mean she's going to turn into a zombie. I mean, really. Yeah, it's, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> He's so making it up. I don't see anybody going for the glass this time. It's too bad. It's very clean, though. Commend the janitors. I guess, that's, I guess we have Otis to thank for that, right? I'm on it. All right, let's go, then. Come on. Great. All right, now we got both of them in our party. Awesome. Let's go back to the security room. We need to remember not to leave without talking to Kindle. Otherwise, he will take everybody with him, and we'll lose a bunch of safe survivors, which would be very, very, very bad. What time is it now? Almost one. Okay. Thankfully, these two aren't, uh, super dumb. My timetable has me getting these two back before 2 o'clock, so... Even if we were doing the main quest, we'd still be on track. We are not. It doesn't really matter, but it's just interesting to see. So from here on out, we're kind of going to go off the rails. Once I turn these two folks into the security room, it's going to become a, a bit of a freeform kind of thing, because we're not going to have a whole lot of scoops coming at us for a while, because at this point in the Follow game... Me. You're supposed to be very much occupied with the main quest. Uh, the bomb collecting and dealing with that, and then the special forces come in. None of that's going to happen in this run. So we're going to have 
essentially an entire day uh, of free time at the end of this run. And I'm going to use that to show you guys some of the more uh, niche things around the mall, some of the more obscure stuff, the little things here and there that you might not have known about or noticed. Thanks. There's a... <laughs> oh, Tad's like, I hope you're not one of the crazy photographers. Okay, do not leave. Do not leave. So, yeah, all right, we can, go, we can go in here. Everything's cool. Transmissions are over, so it doesn't matter if we talk to Isabella. Whatever. Is Kindle in here? I know a lot of people are, but not Kindle. Uh, nope. Where is he at? Good lord, we've saved a lot of people. This is actually kind of satisfying to look around at all of this. Here we go. Hey, Kindle. It's pointless to sit on our hands here waiting for a helicopter that might not even show up. We have enough people to do this, we should make a break for the exit. And Frank's like, that's crazy talk! Jerk! Ooh, ooh. You hurt my feelings, Kindle. You hurt my feelings. I owe you one. How do you plan on getting out of here, huh? You gonna walk right out the front door? We gather as many weapons as we can and then make a break for it in the daytime. Hot, hot wire cars from the parking lot and hightail it out of here. That would be a very exciting movie, but it would get most of you killed. You won't be able to get past the National Guard's barricades. He's like, what? <laughs> Unless you plan on riding a tank out of here, you're stuck in Willamette. And Kendall's like, yeah, but... Okay, like, hey, you know what? This whole mall thing is actually not a bad place to be stuck in, in terms of there are a lot of uh, uh, like, a lot of things here. We have, like, a, a weapons store, a, a supermarket, you know, clothing, you know, basically everything you could need, you could find it here. And then Kindle's, yeah, so all we have to do with Kindle is just talk to them a lot. Now, look at our scoops page. No more scoops on the list. Alright, so I'm gonna save my game. And that, that is a weight off my shoulders. We have three more transmissions coming through at, at the, this afternoon, and then that should be it. So, um, where do I want to save this here? I wish I had two memory cards. Hmm. I'm going to save over that hard drive save that I made in the middle of this video, just so I don't go over my old backup in case this goes horribly wrong. All right, so that is it for this episode of Let's Play Dead Rising. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're going to start our freeform experience. See you guys then.